Matthew, why are you looking so sad? <sighs> Joanne, I'm just, I'm just feeling so sad because, you know, this year there's no Christmas lights switch on in Moira. Matthew, have you not heard the really good news? What good news? The, the ones that would have been on the stage in Moira, we've got them all to do something for our video and we're oh. going to be able to watch them in our house. Oh wow. Isn't that just great? That's so sounds, exciting. That is, that's, me, that's made my day knowing that's happening. Oh, Matthew, I just knew we are going to be hearing from Moira Primary School, from Rowandale Primary School, from Santa. Santa, yes. I knew Santa. you would love that. Look at your yes. jumper. My jumper, I know I've got my, I thought if I wore my Christmas jumper, it would make me feel happier. And now hearing that, I'm even more happier. But you know, that reminds me of, of the competition. Is yes. there a competition? Yes, there is. Boys and girls, and mums and dads who are watching too, we have a competition going this year. And you can see that I've got my Christmas jumper on. So, so what I, I and, and Joanne as well, you've got yours on. Mm -hmm. well, we've both got a Christmas jumper on. So what we want you to do is, is we want you to dress up in your Christmas jumper. Get that outfit out, uh, shake the dust off it, stick it on. And we want you to send a photograph with you, with the jumper on, watching this video make sure the video is on in the background so we can see so you can maybe do a wee bit of a point at it just so we know that you're watching this video and what we're going to do is, is next week on facebook we will announce the winners of some amazing prizes isn't that right it certainly is matthew and where do they send these things to good question joanne and the details of this are going to be on the screen there's going to be a number uh, to text into to whatsapp into and uh, if you can just send and submit your pictures uh, on to uh, that number and yeah that's how we'll get it. Brilliant Matthew and they can even have their tree decorated even better than we've managed to do. Yes. Send in send in your your tree. Now I know that the first one that we all want to hear from is Moya Primary School. So why don't we sit back and relax and look Matthew I even brought some oh, treats for us. Yes. So let's get tucked in and watch Moira Primary School. Let's do this. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Oh, the fields we go.
Matthew, weren't those boys and girls in Warrior Primary School full of so much fun and enthusiasm? They were just great. Yes. I have to say, they were incredible. And those, some of those songs were actually stuck in my head. I would say so, Matthew. Please don't sing them, though. Please don't. I promise I won't. Oh, well, that's good. Well, do you know what, Matthew? I have got something really exciting now okay. going to happen. I know you're going to love it. Yes. What is it, Joanne? I've managed to get... An interview with Santa. Santa? The, the real Santa? Yes. As in the one that lives in the North Pole? Yes, Matthew. <sighs> Joanne, this is incredible. This is amazing. I know I'm going to get changed into my special suit for seeing him. Okay? okay. okay. Are we ready? Let me think about this. Ready? One, two, three. <sighs> Matthew, what costume are you wearing? Do you think you're a turkey or something? Oh, uh, I think I've got the the wrong one. L let me try this again, okay? I think so. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. There we go. Wow, Matthew. You're an yeah. elf. Yeah, do you like your outfit? Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, that's great. Are Back you going it? to help yes. the interview Santa now? Oh, yes. I can't wait to see Santa again. It's been, it's been a long time. Oh, Matthew. So. Well, you go off and you do your interview and we'll catch up with you. Boys and girls, we're going to have a brilliant interview now with Santa. Wow, so exciting. Yes, I, I better go here and, and interview him. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Olivia. Good. <laughs> Oscar. Oh, very good, yes. <laughs> Santa, it's you. Oh, I've been looking for you. Oh, hello, Matthew. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's so good to see you. How are you? I do well. How are you? I am good. I'm just going through my list and I come to your name. Oh, well, what's it say? Matthew. Very good. Well done, yes. Matthew. Yes, another year well of being done. good. Oh, 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 I've tried oh, my hardest oh, this oh, year. Oh. and You know, whenever Joanne said that you were here, I was so excited and I had to get into my outfit and yes, come and see you. Yes, yes, <sighs> I've been here for a while. Yes. Yeah. How, long, how long ago since we last met each other? Oh, it must be nearly a year, Matthew. <sighs> One year, yes. It's wow. coming up on Christmas Eve. I remember it well. Oh, 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 can't oh. wait. Can't wait till Christmas again. Well, well... Santa, are you busy at the moment? Oh, well, yes, we're very busy. The elves are finishing off and the finishing nice. final touches on the toys. I'm getting nice. the sleigh ready and feeding the room. Oh, yes, it's Matthew. Oh, it's a very busy time of the year. Oh, oh, I can oh, imagine, oh. I can imagine, as we get close to December. And, and you know, Santa, you know, here we've had a thing called COVID-19, which has made life a bit difficult for us. Yes, but, um, Has the North Pole been in lockdown? No, 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 we haven't what? because we've not went anywhere. The last time I was out was last year. No one has came to visit, so we've been pretty good. We, we've escaped the lockdown, so ho, ho, ho. Oh, that's so Thanks good to hear. We're all well, yes. Yeah, so glad to hear. I'm so glad to hear that. And, you know, the kids in Moyer, I know that they're super excited for Christmas Day, but yes. Santa, how do you oh, think oh. the boys and girls of Moyer have been this year? Oh, well, I've had my elves on the case, and the boys and girls in Moyer have been excellent. They have all made the good list this year. Oh, so all, good They've all been very good boys and girls this year. <laughs> yes, oh, I'm yes. sure they'll be so glad to hear that. Thing, oh, you say yes, that. yes. But, you know, Santa, we've just had Moyer Primary School um, do a bit of, of a singing there for us. How did you find yes, them? Yes, I was listening. They were great. Where They, they were, were very enjoyable to watch. <laughs> They were great, and we've got Rowan Dale coming up next. Are you excited for them? I've heard Rowan Dale. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I listened to them last year on the stage. I cannot wait. It's going to be a real treat. Yes. Exciting times. I can't wait either. But, you know, Santa, unfortunately, I've got to get back. Uh, I've got to get back to Joanne here. Um, I was only here for a few minutes to chat with you. But just before I go... Um, I just want you to, you know, share something with the boys and girls. What, what would you say to the boys and girls before we leave? Well, it's nearly that time. It's nearly Christmas Eve and we'll hear no time. So we just remain. Be, be good boys and girls. Go to bed early and do what your mother and yes. father say and, and anyone else. And be kind. Be kind to one another. Yes. Oh, yes. It's, yes. It's, it's get into the Christmas spirit and yes. sing the Christmas songs. Oh, 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 oh yes, yes, that's... Great advice there, great advice for those boys and girls, and hopefully they will listen. But Santa, I've got to go. I'll hopefully I'll see you 
maybe maybe Christmas, maybe. Yes, I don't know, absolutely. maybe if I'm sleeping, I might not get to see you, but I'll let you get back to your list. I need to keep checking my list, Matthew. Yes, I'm just coming to your name. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Well, I'll leave you to that and I'll get back to Joanne. So see you, Santa. See you later, Matthew. Bye bye. Bye. Now, where was I? Where was it? Matthew? Good, yes. Michael? Good, excellent. Mark? Good, yes. Maria? Good, yes. Oh, Matthew, you're back from your interview with Santa. My goodness, yes. I didn't know that you were all dressed up as an elf to help him. Yes, I'm always prepared to make sure I help Santa. He's a mate of mine, so he is. Oh, that's just brilliant, um, Matthew. And Matthew, what a costume you have. You know what I love? I love, boys and girls, best of all, Santa's coat. Oh, I yes. I really love his coat. So big and warm and oh, red. Oh, so <laughs> snuggly. But you know what, boys and girls? We're really excited to see your photographs of you coming in because we want to see you in all your Christmassy outfits and I wonder how you're getting on with the tree and don't don't forget that we need to see you pointing to this video that we can see that you've been watching from home. Thank you so much for, for doing that. And do you want to know what's just coming to my mind there? What's that? Do you know who we've been waiting on? Because <gasps> I have more primary school yes. and I'm so excited that we have Rowan Dale now. Rowan Dale interview at primary school. Great. going to have some songs. Great. Well, let's sit back again. Yes. Will I go get the celebrations yes, again? Yes, let's get them. Come on. Yes, again. let's go.
to the boys and girls from Rowandale Integrated Pri Primary School. They are very, very talented. Mm, they are indeed. Matthew, have you got any talents? I do actually, Joanne, now you mention of it because you were talking about earlier about some carols being played. Yes. Well, I've got my, uh, my flute here and I'm going to play some carols. Oh, great. <laughs> what on earth was that, Matthew? Oh, come on, Joanne, you're bound to recognise that carol. That's, a, that's a, a really popular Christmas carol I just played. Give me another little bit. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Come on. It's not ringing any bells, Matthew. I think you need a little bit more practice. But how about now we hear from the real experts, the Salvation Army Band, who usually join us every year in the parish centre when we have our mince pies tea and coffee but they very kindly sent us in some carols that we can listen to now so let's listen to them matthew yes you need a bit more practice <laughs>
everybody. I wonder, do you have a favourite Christmas film? One that you love to watch every single year? Well, I wonder, can you guess what my favourite Christmas film is? Can you see? Yes, right there. It's Elf and that's Buddy from Elf. And if you've watched that film, you'll know that Buddy gets really excited because of the words that are written along the bottom of my t-shirt. It says, Santa's coming. And he says, I know him. Would you know at this, this year, there's been a lot of talk about Christmas being cancelled. All Christmas is going to be cancelled. I want to tell you boys and girls, mums and dads, grannies and grandas that are watching this just now, that Christmas isn't cancelled. It can't be cancelled because Christmas happened over 2,000 years ago whenever Jesus was born. That's what the word Christmas means, the birth of Christ. So Christmas cannot be cancelled. And Jesus came into the world as that little baby so that you and I can put our trust in him, we can have him in our lives and we can seek to live for him every single day. So this Christmas, whenever you think about the film Elf, you think it's not Santa's coming, it's Jesus is coming. And his question to each and every one of us is, do we know him? Do we know and love him? And are we living our lives to honour and to serve him? Christmas is not cancelled this year. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending your one and only son, Jesus, into the world to be the saviour of it. We thank you, Lord, that because of him, we can know a living and personal relationship with you. We pray, Lord, that as we celebrate Jesus' birth at this time, that even though our celebrations are different this year, we still thank you for sending your son. We pray for all those who will continue to serve us over this Christmas period. And we remember especially the NHS and key workers who have served us so well throughout this coronavirus year. We pray for those who will not have on their tables as we do, those who suffer, those who go hungry. Help us who have plenty to recognize and share with others who don't. For we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Joanne, that was a fantastic message you just shared there. Thank you so much for reminding us of what is really important about Christmas. You know, Santa and elves and presents, you know, they're a part of Christmas, but they're not the main reason for Christmas. That's Jesus. That's so right. It's so right, Matthew. And it's good to remind ourselves that he's coming. Jesus is coming back again. Mm -hmm. Well, Matthew, we have been telling the boys and girls yes. and we have got so many entries mm -hmm. for this poetry writing competition and usually the winner of the poetry writing competition would have had the honour of turning on the tree lights, but I'm afraid this year, well, we just have to give out some prizes instead mm -hmm. and I'm sure the boys and girls are really like to, to get the prizes. So, Matthew... Can you tell us a little bit about what way we're going to do this? Well, you see, because the poems were so great and they were amazing to read, so thank you boys and girls for doing them. But what we've done this year is we're going to have a joint first, joint second and a joint third prize. So there's going to be two first prize winners, two second prize winners and two third prize winners. So are you ready to listen out for your name? Okay, do you want me to take a start? Yes, um, my first winner with first prize the title of the poem this year, by the way, was Christmas isn't cancelled this coronavirus year. And definitely it's not. And well done to our first prize winner, Kira Adams. Well done. And in joint first with another fantastic poem is Seth Hempton. Well done, Seth. And then we have our second, first, second prize 
goes to Sarah Reynolds. Well done, Sarah. Again, another super poem uh, with the same title. Well done. Mm -hmm. And in joint second with Sarah, we have Esme Cameron. Well done, Esme. Fantastic poem. And then we have third prize, and third prize goes to Aaron Cuddy. Well done, Aaron. And Aaron had a beautifully decorated poem, lots of effort put in there as well. So well done to Aaron. Yes, and a joint third with Aaron, we have Isla Gibson. Well done, Isla. Uh, I love the design you did. Your joint third, well done. Well done, everyone. Yes, some really excellent poems and we really enjoyed making our way through them and reading and seeing which one would, would come out on top. So thank you for taking part in our competition and the prizes will be arriving at your school very, very soon. Very soon. So we'll drop, drop them in and you will be able to enjoy those prizes that you'll be getting. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you look forward to them. So Joanne, what happens now? What's next? Well, Matthew, do you know, the Christmas tree lights just couldn't be turned on in the same way this year. Mm. Remember yeah. you were sad at the yeah, start? Yeah, I remember I was sad about that. Well, Matthew and boys and girls, we have a surprise. Because, a surprise. yes, a fantastic surprise. We're going to see the tree lights being turned on yes. in Moira now. Yes, I can't wait. This is what I've been waiting for. I know, Matthew. You've been so excited yes. and this is now ready. So let's go down to the tree and let's see what's happening there. Hello, Moira. It's Simon Henry here, your usual Christmas tree switch on host. As you can see, I am down at our tree. And as we all know, boys and girls, mums and dads, people of Moira, this year has been a little unusual. We cannot have our usual festive time here together down at the switch on but of course the tree still needs to go on and I have with me here the mayor of Lisburn and Castle Ray and his wife and they're going to say a few words to us now. Oh. Yep. Thank you Simon. Hi everybody. Uh, so gutted that we can't do things as we have in previous years and be with you in person but hopefully this will be the next best thing. I know this year has been so tremendously hard for everyone, but Christmas is that time of hope and it's a time where we can at least virtually try and stay connected with each other and spend time with each other, even if it is just through a screen. So I know every year before, Simon has been gutted that he hasn't been able to push the button himself to turn on these lights. and. I really don't have the heart really to be the person to take that honour away from him this year. So I hope that you'll enjoy this year Simon turning on the lights for everyone for you to watch from the safety of your own home. Moira, at last I get to switch on the lights. Usually it's one of you poetry competition winners, but I am so glad I am going to do it this year. And another thing boys and girls, I was speaking to Santa a few days ago and he said that he has been keeping an eye on all the boys and girls in Moira as usual and because of this year you've been at home a lot more, you've been homeschooling, he says the behaviour is excellent and he will be hopefully down your chimneys on Christmas Eve. So make sure you leave him a wee snack, something wrapped up nice like a Kit Kat or a penguin or something nice. But without further ado, I am going to do the countdown and the Mayor and Lady Mayor are going to help me do the countdown here. So we'll count down from 10. ten. Nine, Nine, eight, seven, seven six, five, five, four, four three, three, two, one. Well, Moira, your lights are switched on for 2020. Love and God bless. And we hope to see you back here for our usual festivities in 2021. Happy Christmas from all of us. God bless. Happy Christmas. Well, Matthew, wasn't that just great to see Simon yes. down at the tree there turning on those Christmas tree lights? What a surprise yes. that was for us all. Yes. Now, I don't know if you have all of your Christmas shopping done yet. Um, no, not yet. Let's check, boys and girls. Have you bought Natalie yet? Um, 
Uh, no. Oh, Matthew. Well, let's just say, boys and girls, and mums and dads, grannies and grandas, we're going to have a little wave and a wishing you all a very happy Christmas from all of the local businesses here in Moira who are going to give a little wave and you can have a look and see who you spot that, that you might know. And on behalf of Matthew and myself and all of us in St John's, we want to wish each and every one of you a very, very happy Christmas. Merry Christmas.